Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Threads of Fate. In the last episode, our boy Rue here got started on his adventure after a guy with terrible hair and a giant creepy hand killed his sister, wife, girlfriend, I don't even know, girl he was associated with. <laughs> also, I, I, I forgot to go down this area in the last episode, so we're going to go check it out before we go to the forest. Because the forest is where the relic might be and we are looking for the relic, apparently. This is a big grassy field and there's a person here. Hello. You don't live here, do you? No? I mean, does someone live here? Is, it, is this a tent? I think this is supposed to be a tent. And there's a... A giant shrimp boat? Like, not a boat that you would use to get catch shrimp, but rather a boat that kind of looks like a shrimp. Alright, moving on. Is there something... Oh, I got a silver coin. Yay. I think coins are used for li as, like, extra lives or something like that. Oh, excuse me, a burp was fighting its way out of my stomach. All right, let's go actually do, do something in the game. Here we go. So, our first area... Oh, this is not where it meant to be. Uh, where... This is the wrong place. I went to the wrong place. Um, where do you... Oh, you go to the gate. That's right, you go to the gate. This this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so click here. Uh, let's go to Corona Forest. Depart. So we are on our way out to the forest to try to find the relic. So... I, I, I can finally I can finally sh uh, talk about how to play the game. So, uh, circle jumps, uh, square uh, does nothing. Wait, what? Why can I not attack? Oh, I have to I have to learn. Okay, the game's gonna do it for us. So, circle to jump. Look at me go. Look at me go. Jump, jump, jump. Press X or triangle to attack. So you've got like a you gain MP by attacking. So you've got. An o overhead and like a sweep. Um, you can transform into monsters by collecting monster coins. Okay, so to do that, you hold something. I guess the game has to tell me. Okay, well, let me kill this tadpole first. Those things look so much like rabbits, but they're tadpoles. Um, it is easier to cross the swamp by transforming into a polywog. Hold down the square button and select the polygog, po polygog, polywog with the uh, directional button. All right, so. You can see I've got, it, like, it tells you what my, my attacks are, and I've got a couple of slots. You always have Rue, but then the others are just whatever you, whatever four monster toy, tokens, tokens you've gotten recently. So we want to be a polywog. So I can bite. Nim, 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 nim. Or I can tail slap. And I can also float, so I don't have to worry about the water. So I can, I'm going to attack, I'm going to kill this thing. I'm going to kill this thing, and I'm going to take its coin. So now I've got a new coin. To transform back into Rue, hold down the square button and choose Rue. Alright, I but I want to be my new monster. The Mandola. I can't move. I'm a mounted turret, but I can fire little orangey things. Never mind. I used up all my MP doing that once. Okay, we're done. Back to Rue. <laughs> uh, this, I think, is a treasure chest. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Three bronze coins. The bronze coin allows you to continue when your HP becomes zero. The silver and gold coin allow you to continue your game as well. You can find these coins in treasure boxes and other places. So yeah, it's like the um, if if you fall in battle, uh, you're either you're allowed to either use a coin or return to town. Um, and the better coin you have, the better circumstances you'll have uh, when you get back into the game. So I think the bronze one doesn't do anything, and the silver one gives you like. It feels like 50% of your MP or something like that. Uh-oh, hello. Hello, what are you? I don't like you. Die. Uh, well, I got whatever it was. Let's see. Uh, that was a saber tiger. It looks very gangly in its, uh, in its little picture. Okay, so this thing can, like, lunge. Lunge! Lunge! Or it can just bite. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite things. So, yeah, th like... It's kind of a, like the the game mechanic with Rue is this. It's transforming, um, and it's it's kind of cool because it's like I, I'm all, I'm one of those people who always really liked blue magic in uh, in RPGs. Like I really love monster skills, and so being able to have a character who not only uses monster skills but actually transformed into a monster is really fun. Also, although I'm kind of getting beat up by all these monsters, I sort of thought they'd stop spawning after a while. I wonder if they spawn endlessly. Eh. Eh. Uh, maybe I should go back to Rue. I'm getting beat up real bad. All right, go go back to Rue. Um, but yeah, I I, th I always thought that was kind of a cool mechanic to be able to just turn into a monster. So 
I'm trying to remember if there is actually an advantage to the overhead swing as oh yeah that's right because you you can um you can combo with the overhead swing whereas with the uh, the standard one you can only just kind of um you can only sweep so it really just it comes down to what you want to do at, at the moment I need to become a polywog and cross the pond here there we go I always thought this palm was kind of weird, like it's got this bright part in the middle. I think the idea is that like the sun is breaking through the clouds there, but to me it always just kind of looked like a weird glowing swamp. Also, I keep pushing square to attack, which is unfortunate because that is not an attack that is transformed into a monster, which, which will not serve me very well in the future. All right. Next area. I think we are about... Oh, my phone is making noises. Oh, I'm back to Rue. <laughs> Oh boy, I think we know that. Eh -heh -eh -heh. Yep, there they are. What? What the? Uh, please let me go. I guess is it the I guess it's the girl. Please let me go. Come on, babe. <clears throat> Ouch! That immediately hurt my voice. Come on, baby. <clears throat> we ain't gonna hurt you. We just want a little food. That's all. We hadn't eaten for two days, you know. Yeah, got no money for dinner either. <laughs> What do you say, baby? You got anything to spare? I don't have any money. <laughs> Let's rough her up. So now I gotta, I gotta save her. What should I do? I have to be careful, or she might get hurt. Oh, that's right. No, this, this is a, uh, this is like a little tricksy thing. If you go out there as Rue, it doesn't work because he, he's scared he's gonna get their attention. But if you go out as Polywog, a cute little Polywog, this is good. Look. I'm adorable. Hey, hey, bro, we got company. It's just a polywog, butthead. Oh, please let me go. Here now. I'm going to bite you. Now it'd be crazy to transform him. <laughs> oh, bro, he bit me. Oh, well. All right, let's chop him up. With our cool crease. All right, now I transform back into Rue. I think you only have to beat blood, if I remember correctly. I think, I think beating sm Smokey is completely optional. Um, you know, it it helps. I'm almost dead. Whoa. Ah, uh, yep, I lost. Dang it. <laughs> Goofed around a little bit too much. There goes my daring rescue. Continue. I'll use this one. Yeah, okay, I, I should have should pointed out. So it said, uh, rest restores with uh, one quarter MP, I think, so. That's where we're at. Okay. Hi, guys. So, whack! I want to say that, um... I want to say there's a trick to fighting these guys. I don't remember what it is, though, so I'm just going to kind of beat them up. Gee! Can't fight on empty stomach, you know? Bye! <laughs> hey, bro, wait for me! <laughs> See you later, guys. They come back later. <laughs> because, of course, they do. Look at me. Look at my heaving breaths. <laughs> Hello. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, apparently so. Oh, thank you, Polly. Wow, you can turn into a person, too. Polly? Oh, no, I'm not a Polly. Well, this is the real me. But I saw you. What? But I saw you when you came out. You were a Pollywog. I was just a disguise to catch them off guard. My name isn't Polly, it's Rue. Oh, okay. Your name is Rue and you're a Pollywog. <laughs> oh. I really like Polly. Can I call you Polly? Uh, uh, how should I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. Thanks again for helping me, Polly. My name is... Elena, right? Oh, how did you know? You're psychic, Polly, aren't you? I heard your name in town. And you're the only person out here with pink hair, so you seem like you're important. You're out here looking for your parents. Right. By the way, I'm not a... Oh, so that's how you knew. I thought you were a fortune-telling polybog. Okay, I told you I'm not a... You're right. I'm looking for my parents. They've been gone for five days now. I know they're supposed to be here somewhere. I'm so worried about them. Ooh. Those brutes might go after my parents. I have to go find them fast, Polly. It was nice meeting you. Up. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, wait... 
I'll go with you. Let me help you look for your parents. Oh, really? Gee, you're such a nice Pollywog. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Okay, let's go, Polly. Follow me. It's not Polly. I'm not a Pollywog. Ugh. That girl really thinks I'm a monster. A terrible mo- Maybe I am. Oh, it's so tragic. <laughs> Maybe I am. Oh, I'm a monster. I think it's this way. Come on. All right. Lead on. Lead on, Elena. So yes, we have a friend now. Elena. She's dumb. <laughs> I, think, I think that's supposed to be the point, is that she's dumb. She, uh, she constantly thinks that you are a polywog. Uh, that is consistent throughout the entire game. What is the point of this little area? I guess it's just to be cool. I guess it's just to be cool. Yep. Okay. Neat. Hello. Hey, Elena. Okay, let's go. All right, moving on. But yeah, she's she's gonna be our friend throughout the rest of the, the rest of the game. So, Dad, Mom, Elena, Elena, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? You haven't come home for five days. I was so worried about you. <gasps> Dad, what happened to your leg? Oh, it's nothing. I just twisted my ankle a little. I can still walk. Phew, thank goodness. My legs gave out and I turned turned into a crumpled heap of polygons. <laughs> just like this polywog. I'm sorry, darling. I, I guess I became too caught up in my research again. I can't believe you came here by yourself. Are you are you alright? Actually, some brutes almost mugged me, but Rue the polywog saved me. Rue? The polywog? Hello? You're... That's Rue, but I like to call him Polly. Polly's really amazing. He's a Polly, but he can turn into a person. But usually he's a person and his name is Rue, so I called him Rue the Pollywog. Hold on, honey. I'm, I'm getting confused. So your name is Rue, right? Yes. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Rue. My name is Klaus. I, li well, I guess I should have given him a German voice. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick with what I got. It's easier. I live in Corona with my family. Oh, uh, that's my wife, Mira. Hello, Rue. It sounds like you helped Elena through a lot of trouble. Thank you for helping her. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, gosh, I'm so ashamed. I completely forgot about my daughter. Wow. <laughs> the relic was the only thing on my mind. I'm an excellent parent, though. Relic? Are you looking for the relic? Well, uh, yes. I'm looking for the relic, too. Maybe I should kill you. Oh, well, this is a coincidence. Uh, so, Rue, why are you looking for the relic? So you came to Corona to look for the relic? Yes, I have. What, what, is that the explanation? Why are you looking for relic? the relic? Oh, okay, you came here looking for the relic. Well, that, that wraps up everything, doesn't it? Yes, I have to find the relic no matter what. Sir, is there anything you could tell me about the relic? I'm sorry. Uh, we just met and I'm being so pushy. <laughs> My, is so serious. Oh, don't worry about it. If I were in your shoes, I'd be just as earnest. So if there's anything you want to ask me, please don't hesitate, okay? And it's not sir, but just call me Klaus or Doctor if you must. Uh, by the way, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, anything. I was thinking, uh, if it's okay with you, why don't we look for the relic together? Of course. I'd be happy to. Great, it's decided then. Uh, thank you, Rue. Uh, let's do our best to find the relic. Yes, thank you. Well then, well, let's get started. Uh, Rue, can you please follow me? Good, just drag my leg over here. Drag my leg. Gee, it's so steep. Somewhere down there, there's a path that leads to the atelier. What is an atelier? It's a magician's workshop. Supposedly about 100 years ago, a magician lived in this forest. We believe that this magician did some research on the relic. If we go to his atelier, maybe we can get more information about the relic. If the legends are true, there should be some kind of special area down there. The path that leads to the atelier should be hidden somewhere there. But as you can see, the cliff is so steep, uh, we can't get down there. Before you two came, I tried to get down there, but I ended up slipping and twisting my ankle. I slipped down the cliff, 
twisted my ankle and then climbed back up and perched myself on top of this mountain. It made a great deal of sense, believe me. I can do this. Doctor, I'll give it a try. I'll get down there somehow. Y you're kidding. I'll try to find a safe path. I'll meet you all down there. Please take your time. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I heard there are monsters lurking all about these cliffs. I'll be fine. I've survived greater dangers before, but it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'll do whatever it takes to get the relic. Whatever it takes. Uh, be careful, all right? Good luck, Polly. Thanks, I'll see you all later. Jump! Yeah, I, I would have expected him to climb down, but he just jumped off the cliff. He's not very smart. Well, he is a polybug. <laughs> me meanwhile, this bear really wants to get me. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> it's just smashing its head into the wall constantly. Stop. Oh, well, it got me. Oh, jeez. It's very dangerous. Frightening bear. Um, Was there another one over here? I feel like I saw something else. Uh, what what was that? It was a stinger. Oh, it's, it's a cute little thing. Oh, look how cute I am. Look how cute I am. Me, me. Oh, gosh. Uh, me, me. What else? Oh, I turned it back in the room. What else can I do with that? A uh, rolling, ooh, rolling spine. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know where I am anymore. Uh, go back to Rue. Okay. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss anything. This game does actually have a bunch of, like, little hidden things. Although I think, I want to say for Rue, it's mostly just coins. So, Mint and Rue have different gimmicks in the game. And, um, I want to say that Mint has a lot more collectibles to get. Because, uh, unlike Rue, who uses transformations, which he gets from beating up monsters, I, I, Mint uses magic. And I think she has to find the magic out in the world. So she's got, like, a lot more stuff to get. But Rue here, it's just... It's pretty much just slogging through enemies. Rue, Rue is definitely the physical attacker of the two. I think we are at the bottom of the cliff. Yay! All right. So we have arrived at the bottom of the cliff. Where there is our gargoyle. Hello. What's this? This looks important. Gargoyle face face the gargoyle okay hello oh there's more hello oh I probably have to transform yep that's probably it I need to get one I need to beat one of these guys and then transform into a gargoyle now I will become a gargoyle oh so you can see it, this little old over the uh, mandala that that is the monster that will next be removed when I get a new one so and as you can see my polywog is actually gone so that's just you just kind of have to manage it so what can i do as a gargoyle can i fly K kind of oh well never mind things are happening that's a cool staircase though i like that is there any treasure here didn't even oh there's a something yes recovered hp fantastic i think your mp does your mp automatically recover i don't know if you have mp regen or not in this game can't remember um, is there any treasure, though? I like treasure. Treasure's my favorite. A lot treasure, a lot. Nope, no treasure. Okay. Let's go check out this atelier. Which is in the sky, I guess. I don't know. I feel like this would, would be pretty easy to spot, honestly. What with it being on a flat cliff and all. This is the atelier? I really hope we find some clues in there about the relic. Okay, um, let's look around the outside first. There might be something out here. So far, no. So far, nothing. Okay. Well, let's go inside then. Here we go. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's a thing! Hello? It's like a frog bowl horse? Jeez, this atelier has a guardian? Uh, something. It looks like it's angry. Alright, this is our first boss fight. Um, 
this thing, I, yeah, it just kind of jumps around. Uh, I think it can charge you. Uh, what else do you do? Yeah. Do a little uppercut. Yeah, there's the charge. Okay. But it's not, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. It's not very tough. So, get out of here. Get out of here. See you later. <laughs> just straight up falls over. Sorry, I'll have to move on. Bye. All right, now I go in the building. Woo. Oh, no, that was probably Klaus. We heard some terrible noise. Are you all right? I just fought this Atelier's guardian. Had you beat him? Yeah. Wow, I'm sure it must have been a tough battle. Pollywoggy Roo can handle anything. How's your leg, Doctor? Whoa! This this episode's been going on longer than I thought it had. Whoops. Oh, uh, well, I'll finish the scene out. Oh, it feels great! After I, after I saw the Atelier, the pain just disappeared. Wow, I can't believe we're here! Okay, Rue, let's go have a look inside. It may be dangerous, so you two way out here, okay? Here we go! <laughs> All right, so yeah, in the next episode, we will go inside the atelier. Uh, and yeah, uh, this I, I'm, I'm having fun with this already. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I am the War Chicken. This is Threads of Fate. And as always, thanks for stopping by. And there's Elena and Mira. <laughs>